Hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to speed up your Chrome your Google Chrome browser so if you use Google Chrome to browse the net I'm going to basically show you how to speed it up really fast because as you as you are most probably aware if you use up Google Chrome it uses a lot of RAM as opposed to let's say Internet Explorer so right away I open up Internet Explorer and as you can see it opens up um, so we're at that point right now where Internet Explorer is honestly a little bit faster than Google Chrome. Um, but on the other hand, Google Chrome has more extensions and it's just a lot more people use Google Chrome because it's just more uh, easier. I guess it's a lot easier to use and again because of the extensions. So just to give you guys an idea of what I'm speaking about, if you take a look here at Google Chrome, you'll see that it's using 64.5 megabytes and I do have two extensions running in the background with Google Chrome. So that's an ad blocker and I do have Google Translate. And then on Microsoft Edge, I don't have any extensions running. But as you can see there, it uses a fraction of the memory that Google Chrome uses. And again, it is a lot fa It's significantly faster. If I open up Internet Explorer, you'll see right away it'll open up as opposed to Google Chrome. So if I click on Google Chrome, you see it does take a minute to just really can it really catch up there and uh, if I click on Internet Explorer right away it just takes me to the website it takes me to the page so it is a f it is a split I guess it's about a second faster alright so I have Google Chrome opened up here and basically what I'm going to do is I need to access we're going to access the secret settings within Google Chrome now to do this what you would do is you would simply type in Chrome colon forward slash forward slash and then type in flags and now it's going to take you to the secret settings of Google Chrome and you can mess around with these but I'm going to I'm going to show you which settings to play with so that you know so that you basically speed up Google Chrome. And for those wondering this will work on your Mac and obviously your PC. So if you have a Mac this will work on your Mac and again it will work on your PC as well. Okay, so the first setting that we're going to mess around with is number of raster threats. So in order to get to it quickly without searching for it because scrolling takes a long, long time, you would simply click on your keyboard control F or command F and type in number of raster. And as you can see, it finds it right away. So this is a quick search. Now, as you can see, it's set to default and I'm going to change it to four. And then that is the first thing we're going to change. Okay, so the next setting we're going to look for is experimental canvas features. So Control F and then type in experimental canvas features and we're going to basically click on enable there. Okay, so the next setting we're going to look for is fast tab windows close. So fast tab and as you can see it already found it and what I'm what you're basically going to do here is just enable that. Okay, so the next setting we're going to change is called experimental quick protocol and that's QUIC and not QUICK. So Let's type in experimental QUIC protocol and we're going to change that to enabled right now it's on it's right now it's set to default we're going to leave that on enabled and the last thing you want to do is go ahead and click on these three dots right here at the top right of the screen and click on more tools and then click on extensions and go ahead and look at all the extensions that you have and delete the ones that you don't use. So I currently have quite a few extensions running. I have the Google Sheets, Google Docs, and offline Google Docs. I don't really use many of these, but I just like to have them there. And of course I have my ad blocker and Google Translate, which I use all the time. So if you don't use any extensions, go ahead and disable them and then delete them by clicking on this uh, garbage bin, which opens and closes, has that animation of opening and closing. And that will actually speed up your Chrome browser, browser a lot. Okay, so after you're done, you basically want to click on Relaunch Now. And that is going to have all the settings take effect. And as you guys can see, after I've pretty much set those settings in my Google Chrome browser, if you take a look at the RAM that's being used now, it's at 41.7. So before I think it was at 60, 60 megabytes of RAM, and now it's at 40. So that is... Uh, that's quite a um, that's quite a difference, guys. One more setting I did want to mention is smooth scrolling. So right now I have smooth scrolling disabled only because I do find it a little bit annoying. But basically, smooth scrolling is um, it's a very smooth type of scrolling as opposed to the scrolling that as you see now is very rigid. 
So just to give you an example, this is how it is disabled. And now I'm going to enable it just to show you guys by going to smooth scrolling. You can type in control F and then type in smooth scrolling and it'll find it for you. And uh, let's re go ahead and relaunch that now and just to show you guys what I'm talking about. So as you can see, it's, it's a very fluid type of movement now, but some people do find it annoying. I personally find it a little bit annoying. I prefer, I prefer to have it disabled. And that's only with Google Chrome. I don't know other web browsers. I, I find smooth scrolling more fluid. Don't know what it is about Google Chrome. Maybe they just haven't optimized it properly. That's probably it. So I'm going to go ahead and just disable that now. And um, I don't know, go ahead. You give it a try. See if you do like, if you do prefer to have it disabled as opposed to enabled. So guys, anyway, I hope this video did help you out. If you do know of any more flags or any more settings to mess around with, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below in case other people do see or do read the comment sections and they want to know more of what to do. And maybe I'll even add them to the um, description of this video. So guys, anyway, that is going to be it. I hope this video did help you out. If it did, leave a like. Thanks for watching. And until next time, I'll catch you guys on the flip side.